Proteins were once known as the building blocks of life. That's because they grow and mend our muscles, tissue, bones, skin and vital organs. With too little protein, kids grow up fat, listless with unhealthy minds and body. Should not parents be told that? Why is an honest answer to what is protein? So near impossible to get. We live in a culture that has elevated carbohydrates foods to a place it doesn't belong. Food manufacturers such as cereal, health food and snack food producers need carbohydrates foods to be important. Unlike protein's food, carbs food offers countless opportunities for creating new products and making money. However, food manufacturers need to produce carbohydrate products they can call healthy. Otherwise people will not buy them. So they have to toy with the truth. It is difficult to do that with a well-informed public. Fortunately for them, time is on their side. More and more people grow up on misinformation. They simply do not know what goes on inside their own body. There is a good reason for that. Advertising extolling the health and nutrition of carbohydrates foods is everywhere. The advertisers have plenty of help. Quasi-professions like nutritionists are more than happy to accept questionable research that emanates from the backrooms of these corporations. To counteract some of the misinformation, here are a few facts. Human beings, just like us, have been around for many tens of thousands of years. They were nomads and they started out on a diet produced by hunting and gathering. The men provided the protein's food by killing game and catching fish. The women gathered whatever seasonal carbs food they could get from bushes, trees and on the ground. This is the diet that developed and evolved our metabolism, digestive system and it kept us healthy for centuries. After surviving the last ice age obviously without carbohydrates foods, people began to settle into small hamlets where they began to grow grains. Over the ensuing centuries, basic bread made from natural grain became part of the human diet. It would have been a lot like the Middle Eastern bread still seen today. New vegetables and a greater variety of fruit were also added. But the important thing to realize is that the human diet was always based on protein. Carbohydrates were seasonal, unpredictable and often scarce, even unavailable. They were only ever a side dish to the main diet. It could never be anything else till refrigeration became possible in the 20th century. Around 40 years ago, we had an unexpected scare campaign about cholesterol and diet. Inexplicably, most people proved to have high cholesterol. Some people who called themselves nutritionists claimed to have a diet that would cure it. They called it the pyramid diet. Had people examined the pyramid more closely, they would have realized the diet was an exact reversal of the traditional diet. Today young people grow up with the belief that carbohydrates foods make them healthy and too much proteins food can be dangerous. The truth is the exact opposite. An incredible display of self-interest is shown on food packaging, self-nominated TV experts and nutritionists. These are the gurus of the modern diet. The constant misinformation and the sheer consistency of that information has created a template for a normal healthy diet. A diet so far from healthy, it can only be called a travesty. The diet industry has already caused an obesity epidemic. There is plenty of evidence that a type 2 diabetes epidemic will soon be added to their accomplishments. To get the truth to the people who need it, means fighting an industrial goliath. This is an industry that can employ an army of lobbyists. They can readily get the ear of grateful governments. This is how carbohydrates foods can end up as a daily, mandatory school lunch for kids, often vehemently against the wishes of well-informed parents. So let us examine carbohydrates to see what they really do contribute to humanity. What happens to carbohydrates when we eat them? To the body, all carbs food is the same. It gets processed and turned into glucose. There is no such thing as a good carbs food or a bad carbs food unless that carbs food is defined by how easy it is to digest. Glucose is just another word for sugar. It is the fuel used by our body when we need to spend energy. The body can also convert proteins food to glucose when carbohydrates are scarce. The fact is carbs food cannot and does not create energy. 
It merely provides the fuel when the body needs to spend energy. If we don't spend energy by exercising, walking, paddling etc., we won't need any fuel. The body cannot store glucose for tomorrow. It is forced to turn it into fat and to store it on our body. That's how we end up with fat on our hips and thighs, clogging our arteries and nestling around our vital organs. Corporations lie by omission when they twist and disguise the facts on their packaging. That's not so unusual. What makes it unforgivable is that they promote their sugar, salt-laden cereals and snack foods directly to our kids. Is it any wonder that obesity in children is finally beginning to alarm even the US government? If you have benefited from this video, please hit the subscribe button now for your next inspiring video. If you would like to lose weight, click the link in the description below to learn more.